For the past three and a half months, nine hand-picked startups have been participating in Accelerator, a program designed to help fledgling companies turn their prototypes into products. A hundred companies applied to the program, but only a few were chosen. The criteria is, do we think that this product is a significant product that can improve the quality of life of the consumers? The products are an eclectic mix, but share some common features. Today, the state of the art is taking uh, these devices, connecting them to the internet, having the measurements and the metrics of these devices reach out to you. The BillyBot brings sci-fi into your home. It uses a Microsoft Connect sensor to see and scooter motors to move. Users can program the robotics platform to perform various tasks, whether it's looking for your lost keys or giving you a lift. For foodies, Namiku makes easy work of the sophisticated sounding cooking method sous vide. Push the screen to turn the device on and turn the green knob to adjust the temperature. So why would a home cook want to use this when this is something that the top chefs do? It's foolproof. Okay. You can use exact science. The inside of a steak is 57 degrees Celsius and that's exactly what you can set your Namiku to. Locky may appeal to choose your own adventure fans. Tell Locky your location, interests and personality type and the technology creates an itinerary that you can either view on your smartphone or use the Locky Walkie as your guide. On the more serious side, Kendara combines a thermometer and an app to give women more information about their fertility than current methods. We give her the type of information that she can use with her doctor, so if she's having a problem getting pregnant, she can take that information that she gets using our software, take it to her healthcare provider, and they can make a plan for what to do going forward. What's next for these startups? The push to production and an attempt to create a little gadget envy along the way. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.